The ornamental sweet potatoes that we've planted here at our studio garden for like the last five or six years also produce edible, tuberous, or fleshy roots. They're, uh, of course, not as tasty as some of the traditional edible sweet potatoes that we have, and that's because they've been selected for their leaf color rather than the way their roots taste. But uh, some of the very showy sweet potatoes that we have, of course, are the margarita, our Oklahoma proven annual for this year. This beautiful chartreuse foliage uh, covers a lot of ground. A plant that was uh, put into the uh, nursery industry by a professor of horticulture down at the University of Georgia, Dr. Alan Armitage. Uh, very, very nice discovery. We also plant a lot of the uh, blacky sweet potato. This one, of course, it's, it's not really black. It's a dark purple. You can see some of the newer foliage kind of comes out in this kind of green color, but then turns to the, the dark purple. This one has very deeply uh, dissected leaves or lobed leaves. There's another dark purple sweet potato called Ace of Spades or Black Beauty that has more heart-shaped leaves, more of a traditional sweet potato type of foliage. Uh, you might also see that one in the industry as well. We've got uh, one other sweet potato that's very nice as well. This ornamental sweet potato is probably my favorite. This one's the little tri-colored ornamental sweet potato. Also goes by the name of Pink Frost. But you can see the three colors in the foliage, the green, the pink, and the white. Very colorful, very showy. It's not quite as rambunctious as some of the other sweet potatoes. It doesn't uh, cover as large an area. The leaves are also a little bit smaller. And we hardly ever see this one producing any of those fleshy sweet potatoes or, or those fleshy roots uh, below ground. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.